Inclusion Gloucestershire's October 2022 survey headline report. We surveyed 79 disabled people, their family and paid carers. We asked what areas of their lives were causing the most concern. The top areas of concern were finances at 71%, health care at 64%, mental health care at 54%, housing at 52% and cost of living at 51%. Here is what participants said about finances. I'm worried about getting more funding to pay carers as their prices are going up along with the cost of living. I'm worried about the cost of everything. I can't do money. I need help with that. I have ADHD and can't manage forms or finances well. I cannot understand the benefit system. One participant told us, all of these costs and more have to be paid before I start living my life. I have to pay electricity for three hoists, a ventilator, a wheelchair, a reclining armchair, Lifelink, Amazon Echo and laundry facilities that I use more regularly than a normal person would due to continence needs. They said, I also have to pay for a specialist toilet that washes and dries me. I spend longer in the shower than the normal person would, as it takes longer to wash myself. I have to pay for syringes, sheets for the commode and bedroom tax for a room that I keep all my medicines in, as it is too complicated to apply for the waiver. Participants told us about health care. Doctors wrote off legitimate symptoms of an illness as being healthy because they couldn't be bothered to prove that they were unhealthy. I was previously ignored by the NHS when I complained of pain. Now I have lost some of my sight because they ignored me. I've been begging for help from various avenues and not getting any. The fact that my stomach has been hurting since last October and very little seems to be getting done about it. Participants told us about mental health care. I can be referred to the eating disorder clinic, but there are no trained therapists for eating disorders with autism, which would have to be managed differently as my brain works differently in healing. I'm worried about the end of the mental health support I get and challenging my PIP application outcome. I'm worried if I have another crisis that I will not be able to access support and I will end up not existing. One participant told us about their experience of mental health care. I have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder and chronic fatigue syndrome, including hypersensitivity to sounds, light, smells and movement. Being in busy spaces feels overwhelming, especially if there's a lot of background noise and bright light. I find it extremely scary and uncomfortable to be in confined spaces, for example, supermarket aisles, buses, most buildings, so for these reasons and others, it's really difficult for me to access slash spend any length of time in many places of work, leisure, commerce or essential public services without quickly becoming overwhelmed and going into nervous system meltdown. So doing basic essential tasks like shopping, visiting my GP, volunteering, Going to college and seeing friends become extremely difficult. The meltdown episodes are physically, mentally and emotionally exhausting, painful, 
very hard on the body and can knacker me out for a few days. So it feels like there are limited public spaces to go during wet or cold winter weather, which feels very isolating and is worsening my depression. But I can manage the panic attacks, fits, brain fog, pain, dissociation, mood swings and syncope better if I get the right support. I don't currently have any mental health support and I'm really worried about being able to access services due to high demand on mental health services and trauma recovery therapy is key to my health recovery and to be able to start leading a normal life again. I can't afford private therapies as I'm only on universal credit. Participants told us about housing. I worry about not being able to afford to live independently. My neighbours don't understand my needs. The housing crisis means I couldn't afford to live in a practical location, but also being in a quiet rural hamlet is actually better for my shattered nervous system. People told us about the cost of living. I'm worried about the cost of heating and food. I'm worried about energy bills and bedroom tax. I worry about making sure I have enough food. The take-home points from this headline survey. The participants' comments show that financial difficulties impact on every other aspect of people's lives, from food and heating to contact with friends and family. The quality of people's lives are significantly affected by having less money due to not being able to earn the income needed and or being reliant on benefits. Therefore, the cost of living increase impacts disabled people more than non-disabled people. The comments also show that disability related costs such as medical equipment transport costs, accessing essential services, paying support staff, etc. put an additional financial burden on disabled people. To find out more about this report, you can email charliem at inclusion-gloss.org or you can ring 01452 234003. Alternatively, you can go to the Inclusion Gloucestershire website and navigate to the Research, Strategy and Partnerships page to view the full report.